In today's video, we're going to talk about measuring madness, which is pretty much the measurement and the analysis and the tracking of your online marketing and social media marketing. So just like you should be tracking pretty much every other aspect of your business, you should be doing the same with your online marketing because it really doesn't make any sense to be putting time, money, and effort from your business into something if you're not going to track it and make it better. I mean, it, it's just in a lot of ways, honestly, it's insanity. And what it really comes down to is something that the famous uh, management guru, Peter Drucker, always said, which is what gets tracked gets managed. And I would take it one step further with my two cents and say that what gets tracked gets better. Because if you're knowing your, um, if you know what your results are and you can continue to improve based on your goals and your metrics that you've set, and you do that constantly and continually, you will continue to improve and get closer to your goals that you want to have. Um, now, so we're gonna go through a bunch of tools here that I recommend, um, that I use sometimes with some of my clients um, to track the results of their online marketing uh, campaigns. But one thing to keep in mind is there is no one size fits all solution. There are a couple, two or three different software services I can think of that really do provide uh, they all kit and caboodle in one solution, but usually they're really expensive for a lot of businesses. So these are a lot of um, in it more inexpensive but very powerful tools that you can put together and use to keep track of your results of your online marketing. Um, so before we even get into the tools, the one thing you need to ask yourself is, what are your business goals with online marketing? Really what it comes down to is what, what would you consider success? Um, what do you want to come out of what you're doing with online marketing? Do you want to increase awareness of your brand? Do you want to have more influence in your marketplace? Um, do you want to get more leads for whatever you sell? Do you want to increase your um, email list? There's all these different goals that you can have with your online marketing. And you need to set those before you even think about these tools because you need to understand what your goals are and the metrics that you want to track. Um, it's all really important before you even get into the actual tools. So yeah, number one, make sure you know your business goals. So the first tool would be for tracking uh, website traffic. And that would be uh, the free tool, uh, unless you're getting the enterprise version, but the free tool pretty much provides you with just about everything you need. That's Google Analytics. And Google Analytics, you can just grab some uh, snippet of their tracking code and put it on your website. Or if you have WordPress, you can put it as a plugin on your blog. And that tracks everything from how long visitors stay on your site to where they came from, which keywords they use, which content they are on, how long they are on the page. There's all these diff tons and tons of information there that's really helpful to determine where people are coming from, uh, what they really like the most from where they're staying, uh, where, they, where they came from, and very helpful, useful information that you're definitely going to need to uh, track your goals online. And the other tool that goes along with that is Google's URL builder or link builder. So you can combine this with Google Analytics and actually track individual campaigns. So for a month, let's say if you set a campaign for a month, you can track every link that you put back to your website, either on like Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, you can keep track of those individual links and see how many people came from those um, individual tweets or individual Facebook updates and pretty much keep track of this stuff almost on an update level or really close. So you can see the people that came from those sources, how long they stayed on your site, um, if they bounced around to other pages on your website, and then you can go back and look at those social media updates and look at the content that you provide and the time of day and which day it was that you put that information out there and get an idea of what your target market's looking for and what gets them back to your website and gets them engaged and um, wanting to know more about what you're talking about. Um, number three is a, would be a link shortener or, or a link tracker, which would be the, probably the definitely the most famous one or popular one is Bitly, which just takes longer URLs and shortens them, uh, so you can put them in social media updates and it doesn't take up a lot of space. But it, Bitly also provides a lot of link tracking information, like how many people clicked on your links. Uh, each individual length, uh, what day it happened on, and you can combine that information with Google Analytics to get a really good idea, like I said before, about uh, where people are coming from and based on that, the content that you used and how long they're staying on your site um, and getting an idea of what works. So you can continue to use what works and improve upon that and get closer to your goals. 
Number four, uh, email marketing, uh, which would either be, there's all different kinds of, tons of email service providers out there. I put down MailChimp, GetResponse, and AWeber. I've used all three of them. The concepts within all three are really the same because it's email marketing. Um, and they all uh, track very important statistics that you want to have as far as like open rates, how many people are opening your emails based on generally the subject line. If you don't have a good, compelling, intriguing subject line, no one's going to open it. Um, Click-through rates, how many people are clicking on links back to your website usually or where you're sending them from emails. And then there's things like bounce rates, um, how many emails didn't even get to someone's inbox because that's really important and that could be more of a technical issue that you want to have taken care of. So that's all really important, obviously, with your email marketing and making sure that you're including those um, metrics and those statistics in with everything else. Number five would be tracking mentions. And when I talk about mentions, um, a mention could be a, any sort of keyword that you're tracking. Usually, one main keyword you want to track is the name of your company and different variations of the name of your company. And so you would usually use this, use this with maybe Google Alerts or social mention. Where Google Alerts would be anything that gets indexed in Google. If you put a blog post up online and the name of your company is in the title there somewhere of the page, usually if you, in Google Alerts, have, if you're tracking the keyword your, of your company name, you'll get an email alert saying, hey, this is indexed in Google now. At the same time, someone may say something about your company um, on, let's say, some, someone else's blog. And you'll actually get that alert pretty quickly and you can go to that blog and comment and they could be saying something positive or negative, but either way you can respond in the way that you've already predetermined that you're going to respond. So you're making sure that you're always uh, putting your best foot forward, helping people if they're having issues, if they're having um, a problem with your business and you didn't even realize it. Um, or if they're saying something positive, you can go reinforce that in front of everybody and say thank you. It's just about keeping your hand on the pulse and having an understanding of what people are saying about you and your business. <clears throat> and social mention does the same thing, but it does it on social media networks. So if someone says something about your business on Twitter, <clears throat> you'll get a, an email alert back and you can go check on that. Um, influence and reach. So with social media, influence is more or less... How many people are you influencing um, as far as um, uh, getting them to think a certain way or you know, getting them more – people that you're actually engaging with, people that you're actually influencing. Uh, it doesn't really get much simpler than that. Or reach, which is the entire um, stream of your network, which would be your reach – potential reach. We'll say potential reach could be the people who follow you and then all the people who follow them essentially because they could share something to all their friends or retweet it and it's all about how they all connect to each other. Um, and ways to track this would be using a service called Clout which actually has a Clout score which there's a lot of debate over how effective this is um, but it does keep track of reach and keeps track of influence and actually gives you a score based on your social media networks that you connect into Clout. Um, so that's one crowd booster, um, is a way to keep track of, uh, Facebook and Twitter and keeps track of, uh, certain updates you put out, how many impressions, how many certain people could see an update like that, who your influential followers are that you can follow back. Um, this is really great because it gives you quick insights and statistics to people who are within your network or should be within your network that you can um, talk to and build a relationship with, which for business goals is really important. Um, and then also Facebook analytics, which is analytics for your Facebook page, which would be used to determine a ton of statistics. You know, how many people commented and liked uh, or shared on wall post, how many how many page views, how often they're looking at your page, how they're interacting with content. There's more statistics here than I'll get into, but all you have to do is go to your page, go to analytics, and you can get a really good idea of, once again, the content that's getting people to engage with you, and that gives you an idea of how much influence and reach you have based on those numbers. Uh, number seven, this has become really important with the more fa recent Facebook updates with the news feed. Number seven is Facebook visibility, and there's a free service called EdgeRank Tracker, which actually gives you a score, I believe, from zero to 100. Don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 100, where <clears throat> that, the, more, the more that your, pay, your Facebook page content is being engaged with, is being commented, shared, and liked, 
the more often you're going to be showing up in more people's news feeds and they're going to see your content because no, you could have the greatest content in the world, but if no one's seeing it, it doesn't matter. So what the edge rank tracker does is actually gives you this score based on the engagement of your page on the probability of someone seeing your content in their news feed. So this is a great way to keep track of this over time and see if that score is constantly improving. Then you know that more people are actually starting to see your content. And then I think it's kind of a snowball effect as you continue to get more news feeds and you keep if you keep providing that content, it'll just snowball and it'll just get bigger and bigger and that score will continue to go up. Um, <clears throat> uh, number eight, ensure that these tools lead to point of sale tracking. So if you're someone who's looking for more sales, let's say, if you're some like a bakery or something, you want to try to find the best way possible to have your goals going from someone online to maybe through email marketing or mobile marketing and then being able to track it at your point of sale because you may get someone on your email list and they come into your store but if your if your goal is to have more sales unless they're redeeming a coupon or redeeming something at the point of sale <clears throat> and you're training your employees to be very diligent about keeping track of that. You're not going to have exact statistics or really close statistics on how effective this stuff is. It could be effective and you wouldn't even know or vice versa. So um, that's just something to remember. Um, and I, I think that's just as, mu as much as possible. Like I'm trying to remember what that was when I wrote that, but it's all about doing this as much as possible. You may not be able to do it 100% of the time, but especially if your goals are having more sales and it's more of a usually a business to consumer where you have a lot of customers, you need some automated form of technology um, to be able to do that. Um, and number nine, track track this at least monthly so that you know that you're moving forward. I would say even if you're doing this monthly, take a glance at this, these statistics, maybe not tap putting them all together, but looking at them once a week and making that making sure you're hitting your monthly goals that you set. You want to have like once you start getting these numbers, you want to start setting goals and say, we want this number and this number and this number improved by X date. Just like any other sort of goal, you want it to be measurable, you want it to be um, something that is um, possible. Um, there, you, know, you want to make sure that you're setting tangible goals, just like in anything else in life, that you can track and reach over time. Uh, so... That's everything with Measuring Madness. Uh, at the bottom of this blog post, I'll put links to all these different tools here so that you have easy access to them. And if this is something that you would like to do with your business, uh, then I recommend you get our free social media audit. With our audit, we go through and do uh, an entire analysis of your online presence and put together some action-oriented recommendations uh, that you can then use immediately to start getting reaching your goals uh, in your business with online marketing. And at the same time, we use stuff like this with our monthly ongoing management with our clients because we are very anal about making sure that we're tracking everything as much as possible. So if this is something you're interested in, please click on the link below, submit your info, and we'll get back to you within one business day. Thanks, and make it a great day.